Hello everyone, my name is Nitin and in this video we are going to learn how we can calculate whether a number entered is an odd number or an even number. Okay? So quickly starting with the flow chart, how we can do it in the flow chart is we will take one activity called input dialog box. Why I am taking this activity because I want the user to enter one number and we will check that number whether that number is a is an even number or a or an odd number so if i go inside the activity i will write here uh, even or odd okay and here we will enter please enter the number So all these things for example this line and this line should be inside the double quotes because it's a text okay and if you see this line will appear here and this line will appear in the label. So this is label and this is title. So first comes title then comes label, title, label, title, label okay. okay. Now when somebody has entered a number, now what we want is we want to calculate whether that number is, a, is an even number or an odd number. So we will take one activity which will help us decide whether the number is an even number or an odd number. So I have taken flow decision. So it says that give me your condition. What is your condition? What is it that you want to calculate? And now since we all know that an even number is a number which is divided by 2 so we will give the condition here now before that what we want is that whatever we enter inside this input dialog box we want that to be stored in a particular variable then only we will place that variable in flow decision here right so I will go inside the input dialog box and I will give a variable by pressing control K and uh, let's say number okay so I have given this variable now you can see the number has been created here now I will come here I will go to flow decision and I will give the condition if you are not able to see this whole screen you can click here okay so the condition is number the variable okay mode mode you can take it as a divide sign okay so 2 it should be divided by 2 and the remainder should be 0 okay then only it is a it is an odd number so if I click ok now it says true and false so true I want one message box to show whether the number entered is an odd number or an even number. I have entered the message box here and I will write here that if the number is divided by 2 give us the message that this is an even number. Ok. I will go here and I will give one more message box to show if the number is not divided by 2 in that case that is not an even number right that's an odd number so I'll write this is an odd number so now you can see that the validation error has gone away now why we are getting this validation error is you will not see any validation error here or here here anywhere why we are getting this error is because we have used one number we want one number from the user however string is written here right so if I change it to int because we want number from the user and I click outside you will see this validation error has gone away right now I will save it and I will run the robot and we will enter one number this is 
system is running a bit slow. The UI path is still running. Okay, this window has popped up now. Okay, now I will enter two. Okay. So what is the message that it gives us that this is an even number? So it's running pro perfect, right? But before that, we will judge the odd number also. We'll go here and we will run again, and we will see for odd number. Okay, let's enter three. Okay, it gives this is an odd number. Okay. So as soon as I'm doing OK, the pop-up is shutting down and this window is popping up. What if I want the user to keep entering even number and until he enters the even number, the loop does not stop. Okay. Did you get the question? I want the user to enter even number and if he enters 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 15, I don't want the loop to stop until then, until he enters some even number. So what I'll do for that is, I will connect this loop with the input box. Then what will happen when the user will enter, for example, 15. So when he will enter 15, again it will go to input dialog box. If he enters 17, 19, some odd number, again it will go back to input dialog box and when he will enter some odd e even number let's say 20 or 2 4 6 8 then he the robot will go to this message box and the robot will stop after getting the correct answer i'll show you how let's say i now i run the robot Now if I enter 3, oh, see, again this pop-up is coming up, this input dialog box is coming up, 5, okay, again it's coming, 7, or let's say 15 I'll write, again it's coming. Now if I'll enter 22, which is an even number, then it will stop. Did you get it? Right? So I hope you liked it. and. Uh, if you want this to be shown in the sequence, I will show you that also. Then you can write it in the comment section that please make a video on how we can calculate even an odd number in sequence. I will prepare that also. Right? So I hope you learned something from this video. And if you have learned then give it a like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. And I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.